Oh, good morning, everyone. It's a uh, Saturday morning. Cheers. And at home that night, sometime early that morning, I'm sitting in my room watching religious programs on cable TV because I'm tired of watching videos. And there are these two guys priests, preachers maybe, on the screen, 40, maybe 45, wearing business suits and ties, pink tinted sunglasses, talking about Led Zeppelin records, saying that if they're played backwards, they possess alarming passages about the devil. One of the guys stands up and breaks the record, snaps it in half and says, and believe me, as God-fearing Christians, we will not allow this. The man then begins to talk about how he's worried that it'll harm the young people. And the young are the future of this country, he screams, and then breaks another record. Last summer, things I remember about last summer, hanging out at the clubs, The Wire, Nowhere Club, Land's End, The Edge, and albino and canters around three in the morning. Huge green skull leering at drivers from a billboard on sunset. Hooded, holding a pix, bony fingers beckoning. Saw a transvestite wearing a halter top in some movie. Saw a lot of transvestites that summer. Dinner at Morton's with Blair when she told me not to go to New Hampshire. I saw a midget get into a Corvette, went to a Go-Go's concert with Julian, Party at Kim's on a Saturday afternoon. B-52s on the stereo. Gazpacho, chili from the Chasins, hamburgers, banana daiquiris, double rainbow ice cream. Two English boys lounging by the pool who tell me about how much they like working at Fred Siegel. All the English boys I meet that summer work for Fred Siegel. Thin French boy who Blair slept with, smoking a joint, feet in the jacuzzi. Big black Rottweiler bites at the water and swims laps. Rip carries a plastic eyeball in his mouth. I keep staring past the palm trees, watching the sky. Well, that is Less Than Zero by Rex Easton Ellis. And um, first I want to address how fucking tired I am. It's like 8.30 in the morning. My eyes are red as hell. And uh, I'm in a new location. I'm in the bedroom today. The computer is... Uh, computer is, what do you call it? It's set up in here. And uh, lighting's not that great, but I, I love it. I've got on the most ridiculous t-shirt. Uh, there are actually um, some misspellings on this t-shirt. So, for whatever that's worth. Uh, put up a cool gym video last night. If you haven't checked it out, it uh, should. Um, so, Brett Easton Ellis, great author. Get a little close up of his dumb face. Um, met him once. He was very cordial to me. Um, signed a book of mine. Uh, I think he signed this one too. Let's look. To Michael, be creative. Brett Easton Ellis. And uh, I said, someone says, you're gonna, oh, they asked me, he said, what do you want me to say? And I said, uh, be creative, man. <laughs> like, my favorite author, I tell him to be creative, to write me a message. And uh, that's what he did. He, uh, he wrote Be Creative, which is a great, great little inspirational thing. Like, it's not, def it's not actually inspirational, but it's a, it's a nice way to remind me to always be creative. He, uh, I'm so tired. Um, so. Ooh. You hear my shoulder cracking? Anyway. Great author. Love his work. He's a good podcast. He's checking out BradyStanless.com. Uh, today, today's moving day. Which, uh... You know, I've signed this little lease 
uh, not a lease. Uh, I think it's a lease, but it's like it's like a rented. It's a bedroom, okay. But I have. Uh, I don't know. I'm just nervous about moving. I don't have anything. I've got no stuff. I've got I've got this stuff. You can see it back there. Um, and I've got a bed. You know, we are not confined by the reality that we create. Um, I guess we kind of are. But it feels like we are confined by something that's beyond our control. And that just sounds so wrong, right? Like, I want to believe well, this is what the universe has planned out for me, and I have no control over it. So, you know, please don't don't blame me for my lack of motivation and my my lack of uh, you know independence and my lack of success. But when the reality is, you, I think I think we create all of our circ you know maybe we create all of our circumstances when we're really young, and then. We have to like ma like manage what we've created. The older we get, I don't know, man. It just feels hard. Life feels super hard, um, and uh, oftentimes unmanageable. But uh, I mean, we beat on, right? What's that quote? We need Great Gatsby. So we beat on backs against the wall. All we are is just another brick in the wall. No, that's, that's not the same thing. And, okay, I'm gonna end this here. This is stupid. This is stupid. You're stupid. Not you. If I meant, the, if I meant you the viewer, I would have pointed to the you the viewer are stupid. But no, I said you're stupid. I pointed at myself. You're stupid. You're weak and you're a crybaby. And this is why you have nothing and no one. And it's about time you fuck, you hardened the fuck up and took control of your life because you are worthless and nobody can save you. So stop it. Don't need it. Forget about it. Make a move for once in your life. The time is now.